Arsenal fans have not yet been recovered from the hangover of the win they went ahead to gate through the penalties that saw David Raya save two of those and gave Arsenal a very comfortable go through to the round of eight. I have someone who asked me how much has now Arsenal gone ahead to make. I'm going to come out and reveal to you in the video tomorrow how much Arsenal has gone ahead to amass from that um, huge, 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 huge going through to the round of eight into the Champions League. Welcome to the Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And we are watching us from my go by the names of Rokan David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that you do upload in here on a daily, you know. Uh, it's all about Mikel Ateta and it's going to be really showing us exactly what he was all about when he really went and through to put in a shift that was really required in for to really take his side of Arsenal to the next level. The Muslims, Ramadan Mubarak, the Christians, we cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ and may the living to God bless you abundantly. Rokan David <coughs> is my name and hope you guys are really having fun wherever you are. Now, where should we start from? You know, where should we start from? You know, I would like to congratulate you guys for obviously hitting the milestone of 20,000 subscribers, but the end of a certain um a certain race is the beginning of a new race you know you finish this race you obviously counter onto the next race and i'm just gonna hate to see more others continue to subscribe you know because you want to hit um 20,100 subscribers in the next uh day so we are left with um i think like 80 subscribers to hit 20,000 and 100 subscribers so let's continue to subscribe such that by the end of this week we're gonna hit to hit 20,100 subscribers and we'll be slowly slowly going there the moment we reach to a hundredth uh, a hundredth increment then we call in for more to really see it that we take it slow like that and get it to where you guys want it to be so let's start it off from what Ateta really had to say about the game and the magic that Arsenal really went ahead to put up when they're really taking on the side of FC Porto and how they went ahead obviously win that beautiful game now he said <clears throat> magic what we expected a really tough opponent really well organized very difficult to generate constant momentum in the game in the way they play and that's credit to them we did it we scored a beautiful goal they insisted in different ways in the way the game allowed as well and it's such a huge experience for us we had to do it at the end with the penalties we prepared well and credit to the coaches as well for the way they did it and obviously for david raya he had some difficult moments to start up but he stood up had an incredible personality and ambition and at the end he got rewarded with his moment so obviously if there is anything that you would love to see your goalkeeper have to really get the backing coming in through from the other uh, supporters of the club you had to see him do this and he is the number one beneficiary out of all this he has gone ahead to benefit and no one doubts all his all his strength and knowledge in there for you but <clears throat> i think that's gonna hate to give credit to the team of your supporter they really organized i tell you they were really organized and um i thought arsenal could win this game of football by three goals to one but the problem of arsenal they did was they failed to concentrate so much into the final third of the pitch that is it concentration was really little that's why you saw to it that the only time they concentrated you saw trossard put that ball into the back of the net and that's why you needed the two most press resistant forwards of arsenal in the game to really create a moment of magic that was odegaard and trossard because those are the two most press resistant forwards of arsenal when it comes to playing into that final side and you saw how composed they got and killed off that chance i really loved it you know everyone loved that finish of leandro trossard he's really a clinical guy and that went ahead to take him to three goals into the um champions league and one assist then he has seven goals in the premier league and one goal into the <coughs> Uh, community shield so he has 11 goals this season and do you know what it means having forwards who are all in double figures you know Saka is in double figures Martinelli let me let me see Martinelli how many goals does Martinelli has in the Champions League that is it Martinelli Gabriel Martinelli 
I think he's also <clears throat> left with a few goals to hit double figures. That will be really great for him. Um, you're having uh, six goals in the league and two goals in the Champions League. That is Martinelli. He has eight goals. He's just two goals away from hitting that. Edin Ketia, obviously, he's having, uh, is it seven goals in the league? He's having seven. And then he has, I think, one in the Champions League with eight, meaning that he's also just two goals away from really hitting double figures. Gabriel Jesus this season has already gone ahead to hit the double figure mark. He's having, um, has he hit the double figure? Let me check. Champions League for goals. I think in the Premier League, uh, Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Jesus. Let me check you out. How many goals does he have in the Premier League? He has four goals in the Premier League and four goals in the Champions League. So <clears throat> that is eight, meaning that Arsenal really having two, are having three forwards who are really having, who are really two goals less to hit double figures. That would be something that means those are 40 goals in four players. Even Kai Havertz is soon really hitting that milestone. So it shows you that Saka is already in double figures. Um, Trossard already in double figures. So they're having a lot more coming in through to join them. And even Declan Rice can come in through and really join them because he has six goals in the Premier League and he has uh, one goal in... He has six goals in the Premier League and one goal, I think, in the Champions League. Then he that tallies to seven meaning that very soon he's gonna hit a double figure so that means arsenal might be having really <clears throat> eight players or six having close to um having close to 10 goals on average those are 16 holes coming in through from different players altogether and you might find trossard hitting 20 as i told you because looks like he's really having 10 games in the Premier League to play and two more games in the Champions League to play. So all he needs is to see himself score nine goals. And you know, he really go miles and you wait to see who Arsenal is going to be drawn against in there for you. But Porto made it very, very, very hard for Arsenal, right? But the later went to penalties and David Raya went ahead, obviously, to give Arsenal the savings they really wanted. Then Ateta on the impact of Arsenal's win against FC Porto on the squad, he said, for them to do it when the club hasn't managed to do it in it for 14 years, it tells you the difficulty of it. When the margins are so small, we found a way to do it again. I see how much they want it and how much they try. They are able to sacrifice anything to win. And when you play like this, at the end, it's going to come your way sooner or later and then it happened tonight so for Mikel Ateta I think his team was gonna hate to really win games of small margins you remember the goal the game of Brentford they also left it late you know they left it late and it required that Kai Havertz late header to make it 2-1 for the club of Arsenal and this time around they went ahead and really scored towards the end of the first half but they looked for the second goal it was nowhere to be seen they had to really keep it tight at the back and try to really be somehow offensive, but all in vain. And FC Porto went ahead to defend better and better and better than them. Then later, they went ahead to really get going. That is the side of Arsenal in there for you. So, fine margins, but the club of Arsenal, having gone ahead to take 14 years without qualifying to the round of eight, that shows you how hard... It is for him to do that. That's what Mikel Ateta is hugely talking about. And I really give him the flowers for really recognizing the effort of the opponents. He was really playing against. And that is FC Porto. FC Porto is not an easy team. Because I remember in the season of twenty, in the season of 2008 when United had to win the Champions League. FC Porto came in at Old Trafford and drew 2-2. Two -two. Man United went away at FC Porto. And Ronaldo needed to really score <coughs> uh, a scorcher from just two three four five yards from the 10 yards from the center line and he pulled the trigger into the back of the net united had to defend and it really went in that way so that is it coming in through from none other than the man known as um the man known as uh, uh ateta and the players having gonna hit to do that they are really heroes they are really heroes because the ateta army has not at any time failed to really put in a shift when 
it is really called in for and i just don't want to hear anyone come out and not really give these players their flowers you should give them their props because they've gonna hate to break the dreadlock for 14 years they haven't been able to do this that means something in the mind is gonna hate to shift to the positive direction i think ateta is really glad to be having players coming in through to do those results then ateta was asked on to whether he was com comfortable going into penalties he said no because practicing in training <coughs> in training in tr practicing in the training ground a few of them missed by the way yesterday not today we prepare everything the extra time the scenarios the changes how the players have to drink and eat and all what in the end you have to do it in the in the game and to replicate the scenarios in really difficult today credit to the boys stepping up with maturity with the confidence and they delivered that is what ateta really had to say about that so for me <clears throat> i just love it all i just love it all that uh, however you don't support arsenal but i feel like arsenal has come back and i think man united is also not way off from really coming back you know in your coming in back and arsenal is really doing great united will be really doing some good stuff down there so when I see Arsenal playing like that and really getting over they're having, it comes to my it comes to my understanding that a lot is really coming the way of Manchester United. We might really go back to the early two thousands, you know, the late nineties and the early two thousands when these two teams were really going ahead to really get it. You know, that's what I really that's what I'm really looking at right now. So people are asking myself people people keep asking themselves why is a Manchester United supporter that he's known as Rokan David very happy with what Arsenal is really going in through because I believe that Man United and Arsenal are gonna dominate world football again and this time round they are coming back when the English Premier League is the epitome of the game of football and that is it in the world you know that's why everyone is talking about favorites and Arsenal is being included in as favorites to win the to win the Champions League because they know how good they are and how good they've gonna hate to become as a side so I'm really excited about Arsenal Arteta says there are some players that went ahead to miss penalties you know in the last training sessions but he was happy that they went ahead to execute all those penalties guys a pet penalties is like a lottery because you don't have any assurance that a penalty is going to go in We've seen players slide, you know, in those moments. Chelsea fans best remember it in 2008 when John Terry told um, Didier Drogba that let me take that penalty because I feel I'm the captain to win this. And no player can really stand in the way of his captain. And he never really stood in the way of his captain. <clears throat> and guess what happened? He really went ahead and really slid and he really went ahead to hit that ball <clears throat> out that is john terry for you and the rest was history man united managed to manage to win that champions league game and they won the cup so penalties are really crucial lastly <clears throat> ateta on david Rail's performance improving his worth when i said i don't have i don't i don't have to see him today i was very convinced that was going to be the case you see in the first few days here and what he had to go through and how he did it with the composure you look at his body language and position that he takes he doesn't get very affected and that's and that's a key quality of a goalkeeper so the qualities that Arsenal went ahead to really uh, hinge on to sign this guy have finally come out and trust me the manager Mikel Arteta feels like he has the best qualities of a goalkeeper and his composure was really one of those moments that he went ahead to share and they resulted into them winning the beautiful game of football so guys thank you very much for watching through rock and david is my name don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as don't miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily rock and david is my name what are your thoughts about arsenal magic that eliminated porto revealed by michaela teta and i think you are in a very good mode obviously let, let us know what exactly is happening into your vicinity i sign up for now see you later i'm returning with a live stream coming up with the teams that arsenal is really gonna face in the round of eight brucia dotman looks like he's done through but 
Inter Milan has gone ahead to go to extra time and it's really another hard game to watch. But Borussia Dortmund is through. They've gone ahead to win their game of football and now we await Inter Milan and AC Milan. Who goes through? Who doesn't go through? Ramadan Mubarak and for the Christians, we cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Bye-bye.